All right, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how we leverage spin tax in our cold emails to make it seem more organic, stand out better, and increase our email deliverability when it comes to the actual performance of the campaign. So you're probably wondering what exactly is spin tax? Spin tax is simply adjusting the content within a sentence without changing the overall meaning. And the reason why you need to do this and include this in your cold emails is because you need to view your cold emails through the lens of Microsoft and Google. If they see a user sending the exact same email over and over and over again, they're going to get a little suspicious and they're probably going to make your emails land in the spam folder. And so you want to include spin tax to make it seem like you're sending out individually unique emails every single day. And when it comes to spin tax, it's very important and it gets even more important the more volume that you send. And so if you're not sending more than 50,000 emails per month, with a specific copy, I would not change the body message because that's where I see a lot of people mess up. They try to add a lot of different variants in their body and by doing so, it kind of makes the message not as strong. And so if you're doing like kind of low volume, the best places to actually add spin tax is in the greeting, the closing, and then using some type of AI first line. And then one secret ninja strategy you get to use is we spin the quotes right? And so what this means is we kind of attach a quote at the bottom of the email signature. And that's pretty common with a lot of like older people. And the, the benefit here is a, that nobody attaches signatures or quotes in their signature in cold email. So it makes it seem a little bit more natural and B will make every quote different. And by doing so, we're adding more variants to all of our cold email campaigns. If you are sending more than 50,000 emails, you'll definitely need to use ChatGTP to, to kind of create different variations of the body um, because it gets very important. We have clients where we send, you know, 100,000 plus emails per month and we're switching up the copy every two to three days because if we don't, we notice that our replies start to plummet. And it's because these algorithms are be, like detecting the copy that's being sent out in masses and identifying that and immediately, you know, putting these emails into people's spam folders. And so this is the best places to include spin tax. And I want to kind of show you what that looks like for the end user. So you'll see in this, in the email, I say, hi, Zach, happy Friday, kind regards. And then I have one quote. And then in the second email for another recipient, it spins the variation. So it says, hey, there, Zach has the same closing, but then it has a different quote. And in this third email, you'll see that it's a different variation for the spin greeting, a different spin close, and then a different quote. So from Google and Microsoft's perspective, it looks like I'm sending out individually different, unique emails, which is going to increase my inbox placement. So these are my favorite variations for greetings. I like to include things that, you know, makes it seem like the email is being sent just strictly off the riff, straight off the phone, something like good morning, first name, how's your day going? Hi, first name, happy Monday, happy Tuesday, first name, good afternoon, first name. And then just like the, hey there, hello there, hi, first name, things like that, right? And the reason why you want to include things like a good morning, first name, how's your day going? A lot of people don't know they can automate it, right? They think that you're really going out there and sending them a personal email. And so you'll see a lot of people reply back saying, hey, happy Friday to you too as well, or good afternoon to you, right? And, and you'll see that there's more of a like a positive intent in the messages. And so spin greetings, that's like our favorite like spin tax that we use. When it comes to the closings, this is what I like to use. They're very simple, very basic, best, kind regards, sincerely, top soon, thanks. And then we even like to spin different ways of saying, you know, would you like to get on a call, right? Like if you're going to like make the call to action to push them towards a meeting, there's different ways you can say that. And the same goes if your CTA is like trying to push them to get more information. So you'll see that we'll say, can I send you more info? Can I provide you with more information? It's just all the same thing, right? But it's spin taps and it's adding more variance to the message. So, you know, our two main call to actions are either pushing for a meeting or pushing for like getting them more information. And so we'll spin the different ways of doing that. And for the spin quotes, we just go search up, you know, a hundred motivational quotes. And we'll just simply copy and paste them into our email tool. And every email tool does it differently. But if you just hit the chat support of your email platform and ask them how to include spin text, they'll probably send you an article on how to do it. But this is the best way and the quickest way to, add, to, to leverage spin text into your cold emails.